It's always the ones you most suspect. In an absolutely shocking turn of events, Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill is once again under a police investigation for assault. This time, however, rather than it being his kid or a pregnant woman, it's alleged that he assaulted a grown man, which I'd say is at least a bit of an improvement. For real though, the details of this assault definitely sound a bit less serious than some of his past misconduct, which we'll talk about later. Allegedly, he hit someone with an open hand on the back of the head or neck, probably what you'd understand to be a slap. However, I do want to clear up one common misconception. While the victim in a crime can influence whether charges are pressed against an individual, especially in more minor cases like this, it's ultimately up to the state to decide how they want to handle a potential perpetrator. Now, obviously knowing that the victim's not interested in cooperating will affect the state's judgment, but I'm explaining this because Tyreek Hill could still face repercussions here. Not only from a criminal law standpoint, but the NFL could also conduct its own investigation. On to Tyreek Hill. Obviously a phenomenal football player, but to say that he's questionable off the field might be putting it lightly. There's most recently the story of his son. It was alleged that he broke his son's arm. It was discovered that in fact the son broke his arm during a fall where he tried to brace himself. This was a three-year-old by the way. However, him and his ex-wife also both lost custody of the child and when he was told by his wife that the child was afraid of him, he responded by saying, you should be too. Though in later audio, he denied abusing his wife or child, though he did admit to hitting the three-year-old with his hands and things like a belt. I've got a three-year-old. You don't hit three-year-olds. Anyway, because he wasn't found guilty of a crime, the NFL did nothing there. And he also, of course, wasn't suspended for another legal issue he faced because it was in his college days, specifically in 2014. He badly assaulted his pre pregnant girlfriend in what he described as a college moment. I went to college and I didn't have any college moments like that, which is strange. Anyway, I can't go through the details in this video because they're very bad. But of course, the NFL won't even pretend to care about that sort of stuff if a person's talented. So he was drafted and of course is now the fantasy football slash regular football beast that we know of. But what do you think of all this? It's just, it's not good. Let me know your thoughts down below.